Hey guys, um, so I'm at home at the moment. It's day two, I guess, of the uh, pet passport process. So, a bit of a recap on Phil. So, we took him to the vets. He had his rabies injection, so he's now fully um, infected with rabies, or however it works. Oh, look who's come to see us! No! Hi! Mwah. Um, so yeah, so Phil has had all of his done now and I should be able to collect his passport today. Um, I can't resist. I just can't. Mm -hmm. Go on then, you can go down. Um, so yeah, so Phil's all done. Uh, but when we were there, the vet asked about like previous tests that we've had done. So because Phil was overweight and because his tail is so sparse, we've had Milo. <laughs> We've had a few tests done, so we've had his thyroid checked, we've had loads of blood work done, um, and nothing has come back with anything. Usually thyroid's an issue, also zinc deficiency, so we tried two months on zinc supplements. Um, that didn't work either. So our last vet said it was nothing to worry about, nothing's coming up from the tests. Um, it's probably just that when he sits down, he pivots on his bum, so instead of like getting up to turn around, his tail will be underneath him, and then he'll just turn on his tail if that makes any sense i'll try and film it um but effectively the vet thinks it's like us with an elbow joint um and just hard skin he's built up hard skin over the time and it's common with dogs and that his tail will never grow back which is really annoying if that is the case but this vet that we've just changed to who are specialists in passports have just suggested getting a diabetes test done uh, just to rule that out as well uh, so we're going to get it done because why not? Let's just check that he is all completely healthy and a bit frustrated that the last vet didn't suggest that. Um, but that means I have to get a urine sample from my dog. And um, so so to, they just said use anything. So I've, this is my preparation. So I've got a old Tupperware box, old porridge, completely cleaned and dried to make sure there's no nothing left over. He'll only pee, I've missed the morning pee, um, so I need to go and do it now. And what usually happens is when we go out for a walk, he'll mark his territory straight away at the park entrance. So I'm going to try and film myself trying to collect a urine sample from my dog. So I've got a pot to put it in, and then because I'm going to be out on a walk, I've got some hand sanitizer, and I'm going to pack a few baby wipes. And then I've got a poo bag to put the urine sample in once I collect it and we're gonna see how well it's gonna go I'm gonna be out on my own with the dog so I'm not sure how I'm gonna record it the urine sample is more important but I'll definitely um, come back with a report of how it goes if all else fails um, but yeah this should be pretty funny and then I'm back at the vets this evening it's Monday now so um, I'm back at the vets this evening for Nico's rabies jab and hopefully at that point I'll be able to hand in Phil's urine sample get him tested for diabetes and um, collect his passport, and then Nico should be ready in a couple of days. And then three weeks from today, they're able to go to Europe. They are fully vaccinated. So yeah, um, stay tuned. Are we gonna go walk? He's here. Phil. Good boy. Come Sit. Down. Sit. Go for oh. this one. Double lead. Double lead. Excuse you. Here we go. Okay, reverse, whiskers, oh, good boy. Nico, Nico here, 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 come here. Are you excited? Are you excited? Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. So update is Nico's off lead out of the way. Phil is on lead trying to get it off, <laughs> but there's no pee yet. Got the cup at the ready. Phil, do you want to go to the toilet? Do you want to go to the toilet? Um, we get loads of questions when people see Phil on lead because he's never kept on lead. But Phil, we never we mastered like he all come back off lead and everything else, but we never mastered the pulling. So this is a dogmatic head collar and it stops him pulling me over. Um, he has broke my mum's nose. He's um, bared an elbow bone. I've almost dislocated my shoulder. Um, and that was when we used to have him on an extendable lead. So this is the only thing that works for us. And other Malamute owners that say get a um, harness, I don't get it because 
it's more comfortable for them to pull it's easier for them to pull like how you control your dog better with a harness i have no idea we've tried them all they're all useless dogmatic head collar is the way forward phil show it there you go right i think i'm gonna have to let him off lead and then i think i'm gonna have to chase him when he starts to pee because he's probably gonna run off a bit do a little sprint and then go straight in a bush and the bushes have stinging nettles <laughs> Ah, oh, false love, false love, false love. If he goes in there, I'm going to have to get under a tree. He is, isn't he? He's going to go. Ah! Oh! I'm doing it, I'm doing it! <laughs> World's smallest pea sample and I didn't get a single drop on me. And I had to go in a bush. Smashed it! I got greedy. I saw him going for another wee, so I tried to get a bit more of a sample, and then he put his foot in it. Does that mean it's contaminated and you have to start again? Oh, fuck. So, update is, Phil now knows what I'm trying to do, so every time he goes to cock a leg, and I jump in underneath him to get some more sample, he, uh, he doesn't pee. He just continues to walk and keeps trying to get further and further away from me because clearly I am crowding his space. There he is. Update two, so I put the camera away to focus on the task at hand. And we have some more pee. Still not that much. And I also got it in my hand. Um, but we've got a sample now. Admittedly in a potentially contaminated so um, I'm gonna, I've got like four hours until the vets, I think. So I'm just gonna have to see how the day goes and see if I can get him out in the garden to pee again in a different sample cup. But I'm not sure how that will go, if I'm honest. So update, I've got the urine sample that I collected at the park, um, which is an all right amount, but I'm conscious that he did put his foot in it, um, so I don't know if that is a ruined sample. I'm going to take it to the vet and ask for the advice, but I've just found this old pot which actually looks a bit more professional. Um, and I'm going to try and get Phil out in the garden now on the lawn and see if he will go. I doubt he will, but hopefully I can get another sample that we can use that will be a bit more accurate. But we'll see if he's feeling that he's tired from his walk. Can we go walk? Can we go toilet? Can we go toilet? Go on Phil, let's go toilet. Let's go toilet. Let's yeah. go, go. This way. This way. Let's go in the garden. Let's go in this bit. Come on, go on the grass, because you love to pee on grass, don't you? Let's go pee on the grass. Go on Phil, you know you want to. This is a proper narrow cup I'm blatantly going to covered in pee if he does go. Go on Phil. Oh, oh, I got excited then, that was just a stretch. Let's get, oh, did I shut that door? Yeah, I did. I did, I did. Let's just chill. Let's just chill then, I'll just sit here and wait. I'm just gonna sit here and wait. No, nope, you're just gonna sit up. <laughs> that lie down is a sign of complete failure. I'm going to have to try and take him to the park again real quick and see if that encourages him to mark his territory again. Okay, so we are back at the park and I've just had a revelation that Phil doesn't pull when he's not with Nico. New splash. Anyway, let's go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. or not to pee. Oh, we overflowed. Oh, I'm covered in pee. Yay! 
This is so gross. Oh, did it. Uncontaminated sample. So we are now back from the vets. She's happy. Little diva. Yeah. Um, so we're back. We've handed in the second pee sample. <sighs> You're being really noisy. Um, we've handed in the second pee sample and we should get the results for it this evening. Um, so it won't take very long. And also it was only 20, 23 pounds, I want to say, 23 or 28, I can't remember. But in the grand scheme of the tests that we have paid for, that he's had done, that is probably the cheapest, which makes me even more upset that the old vet didn't recommend that as a treatment option or suggest it because we would have got that done on the first day. So yeah, we'll get the tests back later on tonight and fingers crossed, he is all normal. And the tail, well, I don't know actually, because I'm kind of on the fence because if, if it is, if they do find something, then perhaps it can be treated. Perhaps there can be medication and he'll get his tail back depending upon the severity. Like I don't hope he would have diabetes, but maybe there is something clear that they'll find. But if everything comes back clear, then I guess it means that the tail is never coming back and it's time to face reality that he is gonna have that small tail. And he used to have such a beautiful tail. I'm gonna try and link it, um, a photo of his tail in uh, at the end of this video so that you can see it. Um, Cause I would love for him to have his like fox tail back more than anything. Well, not more than anything, not more than diabetes. But we'll see. Tune in and we'll announce it later. Hopefully. Oh, 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 oh he's going down. He's yelling, Timber, he better move. He better dance. <laughs> I love you, baby. Hi, everyone. So we just got a call from the vets and uh, got the test results back and all was normal. They said it ha he had slightly higher uh, protein levels, but nothing too alarming, and it can be common in um, urine samples. So, Phil has got the all clear, which is good news. It does mean that that tail is probably here to stay, um, but he is a happy and healthy dog, and it is just purely cosmetic, so that's something we can live with. Anyway, thank you guys so much if you watched to the end. Um, I'm not sure how well a video about collecting a dog sample will do, um, but thank you so much if you did get to the end, and please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Bye everyone, until next time.